Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? My name is Rob and welcome back once again for another today's video. So in today's video, we got something special here. Um, in a previous video, I did a video where um, I, I did like a regular um, video where I talk about the stocks and buying. And I said in that video, if the video got 100 likes that I would give you guys an uh, apartment tour of the place I live in. So we hit 100 likes in the video by quite a bit of a shot. Um, so in today's video, we're gonna be doing that. I'm gonna be giving you guys a tour of my um, two bedroom apartment. Um, we're going to jump in and I'm going to give the tour really quickly um, and then I'll kind of talk about some things like how much we pay, um, go over some of that stuff and give you guys some tips and whatnot and give you guys a bit of a story here. Uh, but just really quickly because this is a little bit of, bit of a different video than what I would normally do on this channel, I'll just give you guys a quick little introductory. So my name is Robin. I am a, I guess, YouTube personal finance so that's stock investing um, YouTuber and I created, created this channel to show you guys my journey of how I'm kind of saving money investing my money and eventually one day um, kind of living the dream of living off my investments and I'm kind of like showing you guys the journey of how I'm getting there and uh, and hopefully like along the way you know these videos kind of help you out and whatnot and that's kind of what I'm doing here so um, I've kind of been basically building a stock portfolio to get to the point where I could live financially free off it and I'm kind of like um, using the money to kind of um, fund some of the things I buy and whatnot and I'm showing you guys like how just over time you know as we kind of our portfolio has been growing and we make more money how that can kind of um, improve your life and we're doing a lot of cool stuff here so um, first of all if you guys like this video and you guys really do enjoy it be sure to give it a big thumbs up it really helps the YouTube algorithm and if you guys want to see more content like this especially Canadian themed investing personal finance type content uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. So once again, guys, I'm not going to talk too much about this because I want to get the tour going um, because this is already going to be a pretty long video. So um, let's jump in. We're going to start with the outside. I'll show you guys the outside of the apartment um, and then we'll kind of work our way indoor, indoors and I'll kind of show you guys um, kind of um, basically how, uh, you know, how the apartment is and what I've been living in for the past couple years. I've been here for quite a while. So the apartment, first of all, is kind of a little bit on the older side. When we first moved in, I think it was about eight years ago. I've been here for a long time. Um, it's a bit of an older apartment. It was kind of old when we first moved in and it was on the cheaper side and uh, Because you know, we've been here for so long. It's super cheap So my girlfriend is in her last year of school. So we're kind of schooling. So we're just kind of finishing up here um, She's finishing up her schooling and then after she's done schooling We're probably gonna be looking for um, either a house or something a bit better depending on you know What our finances are or whatnot, but in the meantime, it's a perfect excuse for me to save up a bunch of money Invest it uh, which is what I love to do. Um, so that's basically how things are going here So I just want to let you guys know the place is a little bit older. It definitely needs some work um, but at the same time, we do save a lot of money. So let's get started and let's take a look. All right, guys. So here's starting the tour here. So I do apologize. It is kind of towards the end of winter time. So the backyard is a bit of a mess here. But as you guys can see, uh, this is our backyard of our apartment. We have a nice little shed there where we have miscellaneous things. We actually share this unit with another person. So some of this stuff out here isn't mine. There's a basement unit and a unit upstairs. So um, some of this stuff is mine. Some of us, is, some of it is theirs. We kind of just share everything. Um, but here's the backyard. As you guys can see, we have a nice little area here. Here's my old pots and planter bags from last year. I got to clean them up and replant them this year. Um, because they are getting a little bit bad. Here's some garbage and stuff. Um, that's not mine. That's the other people who live here. So I'm not too sure what they're doing with that. But as you guys can see, it's a bit of a mess out here. It's actually 17 out here today. Um, um, so it's actually pretty nice. Here's the side of the apartment where you walk into. Here's the actual back porch where you go into the main floor unit here. I'm just going to walk up here, um, open up the door here, and actually, actually see my kitty cat there. Um, Cooper's kind of waiting here. He's get to watch him because he will sneak outside if you're not careful. He's He's a little bit of a bugger, but he's uh, he's a good kitty at the end of the day. I'll kind of say hi to Cooper. Um, so here's the back porch here. Um, this actually goes to apartment, that door. But before we go into there, here's a little storage area. There's, once again, some miscellaneous stuff. Some of this is mine. Some of it is not. Most of it isn't. Um, but this kind of goes up into the uh, apartment upstairs. This is a storage for us. Uh, that goes up to the apartment upstairs, which is the other person lives here. And um, oh, before we go here, um, here's a quick little view of the backyard. As you guys can see, a nice little backyard for decent size for what it is. Uh, we kind of share the backyard, but um, it's pretty quiet. Nobody really uses it other than us, so it's kind of nice. And that goes into the backyard there. Oh, and before I do forget, here's the laundry. So we do have a little area for laundry. Um, the wash and dryer aren't the best, but hey, you know, it's cheap and it's in our own place, so I can't complain about that. And uh, before we go into the house here, I'm just going to take off my shoes here really quickly so I don't um, get the place dirty. Cooper's going to go in here. Um, and uh, he might actually be hungry, which is why he's being a bit of a suck here. Um, but I'm just going to take my shoes off here, kind of come into the apartment here, and we'll show you guys around here really quickly. Um, so this, some of the stuff we have here is stuff that needs to get in the shed. Um, I just haven't gone around to do it. We did a bunch of cleaning over the past little while. Um, so a bunch of this is just storage stuff that we just need to put in the shed. So it's kind of just sitting here. Uh, we have some boxes, some random things, some pots and pans that we don't need anymore. 
um, some containers and whatnot. So we're going to keep them. We're just going to put them away. Um, here's another window. You'll notice that this place has tons of windows, which is a good thing and a bad thing. It's nice in the summer and spring, kind of crappy in the winter because uh, not the heating isn't the best, but we don't pay for heating or nothing. So at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, here's Cooper on the table. Um, normally, I would give him heck for this, but uh, since he's so cute, I'll just kind of let him get away with it. Um, here's some food we got here. I kind of try to keep my fruit um, on the table. We have two fridges. One, uh, This fridge over here by the stove is the one that came with the unit, and this is one that we got from my girlfriend's parents. They were giving rid of a fridge, so I said we might as well take it. So when we do eventually move into a place, we have an extra fridge. There's a stove. There's some dishes in the sink, um, so not too bad counter space. Um, once again, it's not too shabby. And then we have our recycling and garbage. We kind of kind of stuff in this corner. There's a bunch of bags that we use for shopping and whatnot. Um, some recycling and the garbage bag. Here's where we keep most of our food. Most of our canned stuff goes, goes down here. Um, we do need to pick up some more groceries. Uh, we, we tend to kind of shop light. We kind of just go shopping when we need it since there's just the two of us here. And you guys can see here, like you see where like uh, the, the paint's kind of getting, you can see the place definitely needs a little bit of work. Um, it's getting old. Um, this house is like really, really old, but it's not too shabby. Here's our junk food drawer. Um, all of our junk goes in here. I try to stay out of this drawer because I try to eat healthy. But as you guys can see, there's a bunch of junk. Up here, we have some tea and some different things. Um, usually my coffee and stuff goes there. Um, and then we have some recipes here. I, I try to keep it a little bit organized. We have some dinner recipes. We have some lunch recipes. I keep them um, organized so it's really easy to find stuff to make and to do our shopping trips. And we have a bunch of healthy recipes that just make it super easy to um, eat healthy and that's really the key to that have recipes that you can make uh, in this drawer here we just have random stuff once again some um, paper some bags some cups that we don't use that I just kind of keep a uh, keep out of the way here is the health food area uh, as you guys will see I'm a bit of a health nut um, but first thing here is spices spices are super important we keep our spices up here and we literally have like they're like overflowing uh, I need to get like another container to contain some of this stuff um, but when it comes to eating healthy and making amazing food, spices is the key to it, guys. Um, you're not going to regret it. I buy the big bags because they're just super cheap and it lasts a long time. It's a bit, a bit harder to keep me not keep messy, but, I mean, it's worth it in the end. Then we've got some mason jars and some different stuff that we do here. We've been kind of uh, experimenting with fermenting and stuff, so that's something that I, I might talk about in a future video. But here we got some health food stuff. Um, I don't take this stuff on a regular basis and I am by no means perfect, but um, I'll just give you guys some ideas and things. So we have some chlorella, which is a seaweed. Uh, we have some nutritional yeast. We have coconut oil. Um, down in the back here, we have some nuts and seeds and different things. Um, this is maca. It's a type of uh, adaptogen, really good for like energy, energizing you and dealing with stress and stuff like that. I've recently really been trying that. We have some cocoa. Um, we have some uh, different olive oils and vinaigrettes and things like that. Here is MSM. This is a detox supplement. Extremely good for you, good for your skin. If you want to look 10 years younger, uh, that's kind of my secret. Um, MSM, start taking it. It's very, very good for your skin. You'll look amazing. Um, here's some pumpkin seeds, some different flax seeds, nuts and stuff. And then we have some seaweed stuff. Again, once again, seaweed stuff, it's actually really cheap to buy and it's very, very healthy for you. Um, um, so I, I kind of like try to add this stuff here and there. And you'll see I have this crappy um, kind of, uh, I guess it's like a porter or a mess, whatever it's called there, um, that you grind spices in. Um, it's kind of falling apart because it's a crappy dollar store model. So <laughs> yeah, um, so about that. Um, and going over here, we have the fridge. Nice little window here goes into the back alley. That's the neighbor's house. Um, our neighbors are a nice retired couple, so they're pretty quiet, which fits us because we're pretty quiet too. Um, here's our fridge. Um, like I said, we don't have tons of food in here, but for two people, there's quite a bit. Um, we do need to go shopping soon though. Um, as you guys can see, we have, you know, vegetables, things like that, a little bit of everything. We, we're not perfect. We're not super, super healthy, but we try our best. Here's our fermented peppers. Uh, really taste good definitely i recommend you guys try this kind of stuff fermenting pickling all that stuff is super fun and it's cheap actually and it tastes great um here's the freezer we have some chicken um chicken is great uh, we have a bunch of freezies here that have been here for like a year now nobody wants to eat them and they just seem to pile up <laughs> um, and then we have some frozen fruit um, i buy tons of frozen fruit for smoothies and whatnot and cereals and stuff like that really easy to make and it's relatively cheap um so i, I love frozen fruit and it lasts a long time over here, we have the other fridge. This is more of a junk fridge. We have a bunch of like random stuff in here. We have some meat and stuff that needs to get thrown out because it's been in there forever. And then we have, I think uh, here we have some alcohol and some different things that once again has pretty much been here forever because we don't drink. Um, so yeah, just some random stuff in there. We It's kind of like the extra storage fridge and freezer that we use. 
Um, and then here's uh, Cooper once again, just sitting on the table um, being a suck. So I think he's, I'm gonna, you know what guys, I'm gonna feed him really quickly and then we'll come back and we'll continue on with the tour. All right, so moving onward here, we're going into the kitchen here. Um, just wanna show you guys once again, this is how it looks walking into the living room. Um, so living room, as you guys can see, we have lots of stuff. Um, here's the living room. That's the kitchen right there. There's Cooper on the table still. Um, so we have this cool picture of, of Chad and Tatum. Um, this is my girlfriend's picture and she wanted to put this up and I told her, I'll tell you what, you can have a poster of, Tad, of Chad and Tatum if I could have a poster of GSP. Um, you know, some of you French Canadians might get that, um, but GSP is, is a big hero of mine. Uh, he, he's a great dude. So we kind of made an agreement there. Here's the other window. Um, this one's a bit rougher, uh, but that goes into the side of the house as well. Here's the couch. We have some random uh, stuff here. We have some board games on the side here, which we play sometimes, which is really cool. We have a bunch of blankets here. We kind of pile up and then some laundry uh, that needs to be put away. That's one of the couches we use. Here's the cat's bed. Um, the Scooby-Doo pillow was originally my girlfriend's, but kind of just become a cat bed because once again, they just like to lay on it. Um, so sometimes I'll put it out for them. This is a TV we got. This is a gift from a friend from a long time ago. Um, they basically gave us this giant TV, which ironically enough, once you use for a while, it doesn't seem giant. giant. Um, but here's some cords and stuff. We kind of, I try to push these in the back so they're not away, not always in the way. Um, we have the cat bed here um, with some blankets um, with, that are covered in cat hair. <laughs> um, here's the bookshelf. We have some, some random books and my girlfriend's stuffies and stuff like that are up here. Um, there's some weights at the bottom and some yoga stuff that uh, we, we don't use enough, but uh, you know we, we try to use sometimes. And then we have our shoes and stuff. Most of these not mine. <laughs> some um, some backpacks, some coats, some sweaters. Um, and here's a cool little tip, guys. If you have lots of coats and sweaters, you can get these little hangers off Amazon. We have one in our bathroom too for our towels. Really nice way to store things without having clutter everywhere. Um, still, you know, it still looks kind of cluttery, but it helps keep things off the floor and whatnot. So that's kind of handy if you guys don't have a lot of closets and whatnot. Um, so that's a cool way. Um, here's the door. I'm going to open it up here really quickly. It's super sunny, so sorry to blind you guys, but here's the front yard. Here's the front deck. Um, that's our neighbor's car, and that's the street. So it's a nice little neighborhood. It's super quiet. It's a nice area. We have a little front yard. We have a nice little deck you can sit on and whatnot. So, and, and we are the unit in the front, so we get all the mail and whatnot. So it's, it's kind of cool. We ever get our mail delivered right to our door. So um, nice little perk of living in the, the main unit. Of the place we have an old guitar that i haven't played for a while now i used to play guitar a lot this is something i want to pick up and start doing maybe we can buy an acoustic guitar with my dividend sometime i would love to do that um that'd be super fun to do and then we have um some mitts and different things like that um we it's even though it's getting warmer out we don't really need them here's my file cabinet i'm a bit of a nerd and i keep things alphabetically but you cannot imagine how handy it is to have things organized alphabetically when you need them like, I cannot stress how handy, that's a life changer uh, for me. Uh, so if you guys don't do that, definitely consider doing that. Just helps keep you organized. Here's a bike um, that needs to go in the shed. Just kind of sitting here. Here's our little storage area. We have a bunch of random stuff that once again, we need to put in the shed. Uh, we kind of went and cleaned a bunch of things. Um, here's the um, little drawer where I keep things. This is random stuff I need to go through. So this is all stuff. If I have ideas, I'll write them on pieces of paper and I put them in here to go through later. Um, here's another window, goes outside. Um, here's a calendar that's dated for March, even though it's April, I need to switch that. Um, and here's a file cabinet with some, uh, my CD player and some CDs and a camera. And then here's the random electronic drawer, our phone cables and headphones and different things going there. And then here's our main couch that we have that we watch TV on. And then we have a cool little coffee table that we picked up, uh, for like 10 bucks at a, for a used furniture place like years ago. Um, so we'll just close the door there. Um, so and I do apologize, the lighting's not the best, and we'll try to get through the house here. Um, we'll try to find the other kitty, Chloe, as we go through here. There's Cooper again. As you guys can see here, he's, uh, you know, always around. He's, he's a big suck. He's, he's always always following me around the house. So going on here, we have the bathroom. Um, as you guys can see, there's a little hallway here um, about the house. We have the bathroom here. Um, here's the towel rack again. Um, as I showed you guys, it hangs above the door. Um, right above here yeah right above here you guys can see it hangs on the door it's super way to we dry our towels and, and it just kind of keeps things off the floor we have one in our shower too where you can put shampoos and stuff super handy things um here's the kitchen i mean the bathroom sink as you guys can see it needs to be fixed our landlord's supposed to come by um this weekend uh probably won't come till sunday or monday to fix that because that's kind of been leaking over the past couple days so he's got to fix that um here's the mirror that's me what's up 
Um, as you guys can see, the mirror isn't over the sink, so that's kind of random. It's been a weird thing that this place has just had, and we just never fixed it. We kind of just got used to it. It's kind of funny, but whatever. Um, here's the bathroom, our shower curtain. Um, not too much there. We have here's another cool little storage area. I kind of got my girlfriend to put all her random bathroom stuff, at least most of it in here. It helps keep things off the floor and whatnot and falling over, as some of you guys might know. Um, <laughs> here's the bathroom. Here's another window. Um, another window in the place and that just goes to a little window that goes on, on the side of the house there and Then we have our towels and some more bathroom stuff here in the corner. So not too much exciting things there um, We'll go forward here um, Here's a cable that annoying internet cable since we moved my computer it used to be in the living room If you guys remember my old videos I used to have my computer in the living room um, This cable now goes into the office here Which you're both to see in a second and I need to like put it over the wall or do something with it because it's super annoying I've almost tripped over it a thousand times um, here's the um, office we have. Here's my girlfriend's desk for her school stuff. Um, here's my computer desk where, you know, all the magic basically happens. This is an old desk I've had for years. It's kind of, you know, seen better days and, you know, it's a little bit rough, but it's nice and big and it gets the job done. Here's a stack of books that I put my camera on, um, as you guys will see earlier and later on in the video. There's my computer. There's my, you know, um, makeshift microphone boom stand and all that kind of stuff. Here's another window. Um, I'll open it up here so you guys can see outside. Um, yeah. Uh, and I just knocked that over, uh, ignored that. But just once again, this just goes into the side of the house. Um, as you guys can see, the windows are really old in this place. But um, I'm actually thankful we have them because a lot of places don't have a lot of windows. So we have lots of lighting, lots of fresh air and whatnot. Here's a dresser that's kind of falling apart. And here's some random clothes and some different things here that we kind of are. And as you guys can see, we just are running out of room in this place. And here's the bedroom. It's a bit of a mess. Here's actually a quick little cat poster. All the posters and stuff you see on the walls like this, that's all the girlfriend's doing. Uh, makes the place, I guess, gives it more character. Now, here's a bunch of clothes, as you guys see. Um, all these clothes, we kind of went through a bunch of stuff. We're donating and get rid of a bunch of these clothes. So we kind of dug them all out and we're in the process of kind of getting rid of them. So it's super messy in here, I know. Um, but, and I do apologize about that, but mo most of these we kind of went through, went through them or getting rid of a bunch of them um, because they just don't need them and they just take up way too much room and clutter and it's way too much laundry to do. So we, we've kind of been working on, you know, doing that kind of thing here. Um, so again, lot, some of it's laundry, some of, most of it's just clothes that we need to get rid of, um, but it's hard to donate stuff right now because nobody's accepting things. Uh, here's the window. Um, I'm just going to open it up here once again so you guys can see this goes outside. I don't know if you guys can see um, the walls here, as you guys can see, needs to be painting. It's old, you know, things are, the, the place definitely does need some work, but it's super cheap. And I, I'm assuming the landlord is going to wait till we move out before he does a bunch of fixes and probably will most likely will jack up the price for the next unfortunate soul who rents the place. But that's just kind of how it works. Here's a cool little um, blanket that my grandma made me exactly, I guess, 10 years ago it would have been made for Robin with love. Thanks, grandma. Um, I kind of put it on the wall because it's super nice and I like to have that. Here's our stand. Um, this is a noise machine. This thing is a lifesaver. If you guys have noisy neighbors like we do, um, they're not lifesavers. They don't work miracles, but they will drown out a lot of noise. And if you're a light sleeper like me, they work really well. Here's my closet where most of my clothes. This is a shelf unit I bought off Amazon. Just has a bunch of random things on it. Um, some boxes, some stuffies, you know, all that kind of junk. There's Cooper in the window again. Don't know what he's doing here. Playing with things. I don't know. <laughs> Seems to be following around here. Here's the bed. As you guys can see, it's kind of like half made. Um, good enough for me. You know, we got some blankets and stuff on there. It's super comfy. It's super, it's it's a, it's, it's my mom, my girlfriend's mom's old bed. So it's a, it's a nice big bed and it takes up most of the room. But as you guys can see, there's our messy bedroom. So um, I do apologize about that. But that's the bedroom of the house. So going forward here, I'm going to take a peek and see if we can find Chloe. I actually haven't seen her. I don't know where she is. Sometimes she will hide in the closet. I actually stepped on her tail earlier. So she might kind of be, a little bit scared here. So I'm going to look in the closet and see if I can just find her here and we'll see if we can dig her out. All right. So I'm going to try a cool little trick here that I'm sure most cat owners know, but we're going to shake the treat bag and we'll see if she comes. She usually comes when I shake it here because uh, she likes treats. Um, you can see Cooper's already here waiting. Um, so where is she? Oh, I think I hear her coming. Uh, there she is. So this is my other cat, Chloe. Some of you guys have seen her. Um, she's not around as much. She's a lot much older. Um, you see Cooper, he's the young guy and Chloe's the old cat. Um, she's also a little bit bigger and lazier. Um, I guess I'll give them some treats since we're there waiting here. So um, I, I got to give them some treats and we'll 
um, kind of, you know, might as well give her, I'm probably woke her up there, so we'll give her some treats. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's pretty much the apartment tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this a little bit. Um, before we close out the video, I'll talk a little bit about the finances and give you guys a little bit of backstory about how we found it. But uh, yeah, so it's a nice little place. It needs some work, but it's cheap. And it's it's basically, it's kind of what helps me, allows me to save so much money, as you guys have seen if you've watched my channel. All right, guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tour there. Um, I know it's a little bit long, and uh, once again, I do apologize. The house wasn't necessarily the most cleanest, but I did my best to kind of clean things up. And as you guys can see, as we're working towards being more frugal, and I'm kind of experiencing more of a, I want to call it like a minimalistic type of life, but I'm kind of cutting back and whatnot. I'm appreciating some of the simple things in life. Um, you know, we are kind of in that adjustment phase. Where we're trying to get getting rid of some clutter and just kind of clearing things up here. So really quickly here, I want to talk about some things when it comes to finances and whatnot. So when I first moved into this place, um, I lived with a roommate of mine and we paid $850 per month. And at the time of doing that video, um, that was somewhat pretty cheap because we live on a main floor of a unit, a two bedroom unit. And we live in the town of Thunder Bay. I don't think I've ever told you guys where I live, but I'm finally going to tell you guys. Um, I actually do live in Thunder Bay, Ontario, northern Ontario. So it, it's a, kind of like a small city, but a big town, so to speak. Um, it's it's a nice size, and it's kind of close to nature, and it's still kind of have that outdoorsy type feel. So we paid, we, we originally paid eight hundred and fifty dollars all inclusive for a, a two bedroom main story unit with a front yard, a deck, a parking spot, and a backyard. That was the original price. So obviously it being an older building, um, pretty good price at the end of the day, in my opinion. So fast forward, you know, seven, eight years ago, I now live here with my girlfriend and we're kind of finishing up our schooling. And then we plan on moving eventually at some point, probably within the next year or two. Um, this place has basically increased in rent to $920 a month, still all inclusive. So I know that's relatively cheap compared to most places in Canada. And just even in this city, I know if we were to re-rent this place, even if there was no like, um, work done so to speak it would probably cost around 11 1200 maybe even 1300 dollars you know if the, if the landlord put on uh some more paint like fresh coat of paint kind of fixed up some of the flooring and stuff like that and just kind of did some cosmetic fixes maybe they could charge a little bit more but you know give or take most places i think would charge about 12 to 1300 so that's kind of where we've been kind of a little bit hesitant like i know it needs some work i know it needs some improvements but um our rent is just so cheap like if we we split it 50 50 and i think i pay um like I pay less than $500 a month for rent. And that's basically how it is for a two bedroom unit with a front yard and a backyard, as I showed you guys the backyard. So it's not bad, it's pretty good for what we have, but we are getting to the point where we're gonna need something bigger. And the, one of the big reasons we struggle with having so much clutter is we just don't have the room for stuff. Um, so it's kind of funny how like, once you get older, you start to accumulate things and whatnot. Um, but I, I think it's a really good unit. We're really blessed to have it. Um, but over time, you know, as our um, my budget's been slowly growing, um, you know, I definitely want to improve things and whatnot, but I just want to give you guys some context to that. Um, and I think it'd be really cool if you guys could give your thoughts, you know, do you think the price that we pay for this place is a good price? Let us know. Cause I know depending on where you live, you know, $920 a month all inclusive for a place like we have might be super cheap and in other places it might be really expensive. I think for most people, they're going to see this as a good deal. And I think so myself. Um, but it'd be interesting to hear you guys' opinion. So anyways, guys, um, I just want to end this video end this video pretty quickly here because it is getting a little bit on the long side. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And once again, if you guys liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps. But uh, other than that, guys, take care. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later and have yourself a good Easter.